learn that how we can get beta or how we can calculate data from the live data uh, while using a different methods. Uh, here we will use stock history function. Now here is the stock history function. Uh, it is available in Office 365. Uh, first we will write a ticker name. Let's say Microsoft. MSFT. Then start date. For start date, we will use today function. And to get uh, one year prior data, we subtract 365. And we need one more uh, value uh, for calculation purpose. So we also subtract 30. Uh, now it is basically start date and then end date and is today current date. So we would use today function. Then we have frequency of data. For example, we need uh, monthly data, then we put two. And uh, for example, here we need no header. So we will put zero. And then uh, we need date. For date, we will put here zero. And uh, we also need closing price. For closing price, we will put one. Now close the parenthesis and press enter. It will take some time, and you will see that here we have dates. And then we have closing price. Now we need then index data. For index data, we have the link. Uh, the index data can be obtained from Yahoo Finance. Then just uh, here is a link. Click here. And we will go uh, to this side, Yahoo Finance. It will take some time. Now here you can see that we have historical data and just change the date. First, we convert the daily frequency into monthly frequency by selecting monthly option. And then we have this date. Now select start date here. And then let's say it is 2021 and start just change month to 11 and now done. Here you can see that and after uh, this just. Click apply button. Now after a while you will see that uh, uh, we have this uh, data means. This is December 1st, 2020. It is basically and November 30th, 2022 data, and it is in ascending order. Now, copy this link, this one, and again go to your Excel sheet, and then click Data option. And in Data option, we have From Web option. Now just click From Web. And copy the link here. And then press OK. It will take some time. Because it is get it is getting data from Yahoo Finance. Here you can see that uh, waiting for finance Yahoo is appearing. Now it is connecting. Now after uh, some seconds, you will see that. Here will be the data. And it depends upon internet speed. It is basically establishing a connection uh, to get the data from Yahoo Finance. Now here is the data. Just go to table zero. Now you can see that we have this data. Uh, just click transform the data.
and as you know that data is in descending order, uh, click the first option and transform into ascending order like this one. Third ascending order option. Now as we need uh, adjusted closing price of uh, standard power 500 index, so, so select this one and just copy it by pressing Control C and just close it. Discard the data. And just copy here. Now. Then we need risk free rate data for risk free data. We will repeat the same procedure again. Click on this link. And here. We have again the same screen, but right now we have risk free data that is of treasury bills data. Again, change the frequency of data to monthly. And then change. This date. Start date. To 11 months. And press done. And then apply. It will take some time again. Again, copy this link. And go to Excel sheet and again press from web. And copy the link and press OK. Again, it will take some time. Uh, and as I have men mentioned earlier that it depends upon internet speed. Now. It is asked for wait because here connection is establishing. Now press table zero and we have this date and then again transform data. And convert the data into ascending order by pressing this sort ascending option. And again, copy this adjusted closing. So it is basically per annum and it is in uh, percentage. Just copy this one. And Close it. Discard the option. And just again copy here. And you can see that uh, the last transaction is repeating. So just delete. Uh, last. Transaction. Uh, the rate is in basically uh, in percentage. So we can convert into percentage as well. By dividing it by 100. And then control C and then control V to convert into values. And then control C and then control V. And just delete this column. Uh, now, after getting this live data, uh, now we will have to calculate beta. First, we calculate beta manually. Uh, for uh, to calculate the beta manually, we need stock return as well as market return to calculate the return. Uh, we use basically log function, uh, log ending value divided by beginning value that I have mentioned in this formula. So I will apply this formula equal to log. Then ending value divided by beginning value. And then just copy it to the next cell. And uh, we know that uh, this risk free rate is per annum. 
uh, we convert into monthly risk free rate. So just divide it by 12. Then we need excess stock return. For excess stock return, we subtract uh, this risk free rate from stock return. Here is stock return. And then this is your risk free rate, monthly risk free rate. And uh, place dollar sign before this H5 cell. And then copy it to next cell. And just check it with the help of F2 key. Yes, it is OK. Uh, now just double click so that we can get all the data. Now, uh, the excess stock return is terminal wise and it will be our dependent variable and excess mark return is basically represented by X. It is basically RM minus RF. Now to apply this manual formula for calculation of beta, you need that in numerator we have XY and then we have X square as well. So we will get these two numbers. X multiplied by Y. And then X square. Just copy it. And we need sum of all these columns, all these four columns. Summation Y. Then summation X. Summation XY and then summation X square. To get the beta manually, we need numerator this one and then denominator and we need N value as well. Here is uh, N, how many observation we have. And uh, just use count function. We have 12 observation. Now just put the formula to get the numerator. We have N. That is multiplied by XY, summation XY. Then minus summation X. Multiplied by. Summation Y. I am highlighting uh, these sums. Now for denominator, we have N again 12. Multiplied by summation X square. This is summation X square. And then minus summation X whole square. This is summation X power 2. Now just divide these two number. Now beta of Microsoft company here based on this data is minus 